What's going on guys, it's Danny 166 and we are back with another West Ham career mode and today we are playing our first game against Leicester City at home and we did beat Arsenal 4-0 away from home and Lizani on his day we scored an amazing hat-trick it was beautiful as you can see at the bottom right he has three goals in the league already and we've only played one game so now we're, we're going to start with this Leicester game we're going to get in and see hopefully we can pick this league because obviously Leicester are not as good as they are in real life in the game so hopefully we can grab a win especially because we're at home too so I'm going to change up the team and the team this week team after a few seconds okay this is the team not much change really I, I saw the team I already put Uluga on the bench because I just I think I want to bring him on see how he does I'm still gonna play with this same team since they've all got full stamina and you know they're just a, it was just a good game last game so hopefully we're gonna get into this game and hopefully we can grab ourselves a win so let's get into this okay we're in the game now this is the game this is the game that we need to win in front of our home crowd we need to get ourselves the victory you know to, for also a good start in the season as well and let's hope we can keep this good one of form going and hopefully we can get that euro you know we can secure our euro spot or if we can we can get better and hopefully we can get a cup run also so let's get into this jesse i want i want him to be more involved in the game this time and we've lost the ball oh we, oh, we just ran away from the ball dimitri okay they've got ourselves a little chance and the pirate gets the ball back and Pyatt scored an absolutely amazing goal for France versus, um, really versus, versus, I forgot which game they played against. France versus, okay, I've completely forgot. Anyway, he scored an absolutely amazing goal, which was just insane. Last mi couple minutes of the game, I think it was the 89th minute or the 88th. Anyway, I need to concentrate. My left back's doing well. He's passed all the way back. And let's hopefully we don't concede early because that's one thing I said again, I said in the last episode. Oh. oh. So yeah, this is just oh we've lost the ball again. Let's start having a couple of chances. Oh because okay, so he's away. Come on. Oh you've let him go. Oh no! Keeper, you can't parry it out to drink water. I'm, again, we're 1-0 down at the start of the game. This is not good. The keeper should have done better, in my opinion. Defending also could have been better, but come on. Okay, beautiful ball. Oh, what a header. Oh! So close. Oh, no, 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 no. Pai is injured, boys. Ah, oh, this is horrible. I'm not gonna bring our day up because he's just gonna get tired. Oh, we're bringing our son. So we've lost one of our star men. Hopefully, he's not for too long because he's got. He was supposed to be one of our best players this season. One of our most important players, I should say. So we now we got injury on our hands. Dimitri Pai. That means I should be looking to get another midfielder. Team. So this has been a horrible start for the for the team. One 0 down at home, and now they've got another chance. Beautiful Cresswell. Go and just do something. Okay, that's it. Play the ball. Oh, it's gone straight down. Oh, we could. Oh, shit. I'm gonna do the same thing I did with. Okay, go mark. What a shit shot. Okay, go on strong. Keep the ball. Go on, Tanya. Touch. Oh, there's no one in the box. Oh, what a save. Good shot. Okay, you send the ball in. That's your song. Ah. Oh. Okay. Oh, we've lost the ball again. Oh, what a turn. Finish that! How did you hit the ball from that close? Oh, we've missed how many chances? Jesse should have put that away. 
Okay, that's it. Cut back inside. Okay, beautiful. Cut back inside. That's it, Antonio. Finished. Yes, we're back. 1-1. One, one. That's what I love. Love, lovely Antonio. Beautiful. We've we've literally since since Pirates, to be fair, has come off. We've literally been controlling the game. We've could have had two goals with that Chelsea Rodriguez shot, which should have gone in. Okay, so we're back. Oh. oh, they've got a bit of a sort of a counter attack. Oh, Jamie Roddy. No, where's our right back? Beautiful header. Good there, Antonio. Antonio, what are you? You're having a shocker today. Uh, heavy touch, get that ball. Yes, I want it. Go on, Jesse. That's it. That's it. Oh no! Don't hit the ball again! Okay. Go right back. No! Oh for fuck's sake. We've hit the ball! Twice! This we should be winning right now. Okay. Start with the second half. Let's. Let's, let's just we, if we keep playing with the way we're going, we're bound to score. Okay, Jesse's running. He's created a lot of space for himself. Oh, the shot blocked. Oh, beautiful. Okay. Yes, Jesse Rodriguez. He's got his first goal for the club and. Be fair, you should have more than one goal. Beautiful. I thought it was offside, so that's why I was thinking, oh, the, the flag's just got to go up, but no. 2 1. This is fully deserved. 2 1. This is what I like. We're ahead. But they could score one goal and they're back into it, so they need to score again. This is going. Ah, oh, ball pass. Okay. Cut inside. Fucking hell. Couldn't get the ball out of his feet. On oh, wrong player. Yes! What a goal! How did that go in? Jesse, two goals. That is poor keeping. Anyway, I'm not complaining. We have two goals. 3-1. I don't know what's happened to Leicester. They scored a quick goal at the start and then from since then they've literally just been shit. And the keeper, come on. He saved it into his own net. That's two goals for Jesse and this game's going alright now. Oh, uh, come on. Oh, come on. that's yours, that's all yours. Three or four. One to them, there's here. Cut inside, cut inside, cut inside again. He's running past all of them and he scored an absolutely amazing goal. 4 1. This game has been done and dusted. It's over. I'm just going to make them subs just to freshen up the team. I'm going to bring in the day guard. No, because I think someone's been playing well since he's come I'm going to bring in Moses for Antonio. Just simple, literally, they're just ball watching him. He literally just went all around all of that. I thought Song was going to get in the way. Anyway, Valencia scored. It's decent, it's looking good already. That's it. Play it. Hold it. Oh, beautiful. Oh, what a goal! Antonio, 2 0. That was dirty. 5 1. We've had such amazing two games. Beautiful one-two play from Lazani and Antonio. Antonio literally just finishes that. Just simple. Could have said the keeper could have done more than that, but it was a beautiful placement to be fair. Oh, wow, they blew the whistle on these. Oh, it's offside anyway. I was about to say, he hit the post anyway.
Okay, that's the end of the game. 5-1 victory against Leicester, which would never, I don't think will happen in real life, but anyway, we beat them 5-1 and literally, we've, we've been having a route when it comes to scoring goals and Jesse gets the 9.6 rating, beautiful. Even Mark Noble, to be fair, played well even before I took him out. We had an assist, but Jesse got two goals. And Cresswell again has an assist. Song had one, Rosani had two, so instead of scoring today, he assisted two goals. Valencia had two himself. And yeah, Antonio had one just before he came up, and it's been a beautiful. And also, Valencia did get a 9.3 rating. Rosani got 8.6, Song 8.2. And then Cresswell 7.7, .7, Noble 8.2. It's been a good start for West Ham. Literally, I would have never thought this would have happened after that pre-season tournament where we played so bad. And the way West Ham are playing is absolutely amazing. Eight weeks, dislocated shoulder. I think we should buy someone else if we have the money. Because we're going to be for a long time without our main creator midfield but lasagna is taking that role right now so sad he was having such a good start yeah we need to buy a midfield hopefully this Andy Carroll can go and leave the team so that we can have a few extra Money. Player sold. Yes, Andy Carroll has left. Amazing. Because I had a problem with my Xbox, it just switched off, and so I had to come back in, and it was just chaos. So now I'm back. So yeah, I'm gonna sign up for this video, and hopefully, I'm gonna. The next game of the season is against. I think it's Bournemouth. Yes, Bournemouth. That's our next game, and we're at home. Then we have Liverpool away. Yes, and that's the last game, of, uh, last game of the transfer with Ambi. And after the transfer with I will be playing two games every single episode. But for now, I want to keep it as one game so I can keep track. So now, just before I cough, I'm going to try and get Rafinha on a one year loan deal like I was trying to do before. I just messed up. And instead of doing two, I'm going to do one because I think two is a bit too long and I don't think they'll accept the agreements. Oh, actually, I'm going to get Sergio Roberto. And I will try out for him, whichever one goes, because I know Sergio Burn is a player that they will won't have any problem with letting go. So one year longer set. Oh, we don't have, oh yeah, we need to wait for Andy Carroll. Let me put them on my S player so mm. Andy Carroll's gone. Accept this two year loan deal. Loan offer one year submit offer Rafinha also one year loan deal so I don't know if the transfers will happen just before a game I don't reckon it will okay it hasn't so yeah that's it for the day as you can see we're second on the table and let me show you the table once again that's the table Manchester United are actually in relegation they've lost two of their games they've got zero points Arsenal 14th Leicester 13th Spurs 10th City 9th 8th Liverpool Aston Villa ironically are 7th and we are second which also are the only big team that are doing well and Everton also Southampton have a pretty Norwich surprisingly who were relegated this season are in top four and yeah obviously all those things will change throughout the course of the season and as you can see top goal scorers are two of our West Ham boys we have Lasagna and Valencia and we have Jesse sitting there actually drawing with third because he still has two so he's actually third also and then also top assist is also again Payet but he's injured so he will probably move further down that list and Lasagna is also up there that's amazing. Lasagna's had an amazing start. Noble song. Yeah, we've got Cresswell, Antonia, and clean sheets. We have one. So, so 
it's been a good start for West Ham. Hopefully we can win this game against Bournemouth, which we should, and we can have the perfect three-star game of the season and we could top the league then. So hopefully we can do that. And this has been Dan Me Wanted to say so we're going to sign out and hopefully look out for the next episode of the West Ham Career Mode.